Oh, wow. Okay, talking to the writers of Mina, Mina Plays the Game, a winning short screenplay. Uh, it's uh, Edwin Wendell and uh, Ramon. Uh, Edward. 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 Sorry, has E is E Wendell. That's your credited. So <laughs> yes, yes. I was taking a shot in the dark there. And Ramon Olivier, right? Correct. So whereabouts are you, Ramon? Well, I'm actually today. I'm in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska. Wow. Correct. And what uh, about you, what about yourself, Mr. Wendell? Uh, I'm in Queens, New York. Queens, New York. So we're doing this at 10:30 Eastern Standard Time in Toronto. And what time? Mm -hmm. What time is it in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska? 9:30. Uh, 9:30. All right. So That's it's Saturday night. We're spending Saturday night with each other. So I right. hope you guys are having sure. a good night so far. It's going great. All right. So how did you guys meet each other? Whoa, we uh, so uh, Edward's dad was uh, my first baseball coach. Wow. Okay. And so we would drive together to the to the baseball games on Saturday morning, and so we know each other from the old neighborhood, which is uh, Woodhaven, New York. Gotcha. And so then, is, is, so then, your did, did you play baseball as, as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, Ray, Ray and I grew up together here in, in in Woodhaven. We were child, we were childhood friends, and uh, um, you know, we uh, uh, we grew up as 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 teenagers. We we made uh, we made a bunch of movies together as as, as teenagers. We uh, uh, super eight uh, super super eight movies, and um, and just had had a ball. I mean, we did we did everything. We built the you know built the the sets and. And, and everything was uh, every, everything was really low budget, and uh, <laughs> and and we we had a we had, always had a lot of fun. It was always the big big anticipation after we would we would we would create a movie, uh, waiting for it to be uh, you know there was that that long time you, you didn't get that instant satisfaction. You had to send it out and wait for it to be developed, and yeah. and, and then get it and thread it through the machine and watch it. We'd watch it hours over and over and over again, and. Uh, we still we still have them, you know. You know, how many years ago was that? It was we were in our teens, so it was yeah. over forty years ago. That's amazing. So then, did, do you mind? Can I state this is so? This is like late seventies, early eighties. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right after. Yeah. Right after Star Wars. Yeah. Right after Star Wars, and were you guys <laughs> were shooting on Super Eight. Yes. yes. Yeah. So yeah. no sound, right? Just like no. Little, yeah. No, right. no sound, no sound at all. Tick, 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 tick. That's it. The exactly. the projector. <laughs> Where did you edit it? How did you edit it on the Steinbeck machine? Edit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the the early days, it was just just using the camera and just moving from scene to scene, uh, planning it out that way. I think at one point we actually did get an editor and we started splicing um, the reels together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly we stuck to camera edits because. Um, the, the film was so fragile. Uh, so you have to do, you can only do one take then. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was, listen, it was, it was a lot of fun. We were, we were a, a fun group of kids. You know, we were pretty film literate when we were young, you know, in the, in the era we grew up in, you know, we were, we were all raised on something here in New York called the 430 movie. You know, it was a mm -hmm. movie they gave every day, Monday through Friday. And it was, uh, you know, there was only seven channels to choose from. So whatever movies they were showing. So you, you, you got to see the best of the best. They used to show a lot of really, you know, great movies on, on this. And, uh, you know, that and then the excitement after Star Wars just led us into making our, yeah. our, our own movies. So you took so the 4.30 movie, meaning that after school, there was a movie on a channel at 4.30? Yeah. 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 ABC. Yeah. ABC. Every... Uh... Was it? I don't remember. Was it every day or every Thursday? That it was, that it I was don't Monday. Remember. It was Monday through Friday, at four thirty, and you know sometimes they would have theme weeks. You know, uh, maybe a special uh, a, a certain franchise like Planet of the Apes week, or oh, yeah. uh, Charlton yeah. Heston week, or or Burt Reynolds week, or whatever it was. And 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 you know when they would show a movie, I remember whenever they would show The Great Escape, which was one of my favorite movies growing up. Yeah. Whenever they would show it, it's a long movie. But they would show it from it would go on from Monday to Friday because they would show a little bit. And then the next day they would show like the last half hour of what they did the day before. So the movie would stretch out the entire week. You got to see yeah. bits of it over and over again. It was listen, yeah. it was a yeah. fun time to grow up, uh, uh, 
you know that that was exciting when 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 a, when a movie was on. It was big excitement to have a movie. Well, because they didn't have video, they didn't have VHS until like yeah. the early '80s. They didn't have video right. store to go to and watch the rent right. a movie, right? Yeah. So yeah. whatever you could only watch these movies on television when they were on. That's it. Yeah. You missed it. You missed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah and we we go to the movies on the on the weekend. Sure, the but the older theater. movies, yeah, but yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. But now you can watch anything, right? Yes, In exactly. Way, right, so. Exactly. But, you know, what I was talking to Ed the uh, the other day, and one of the things we realized was that uh, we got to see certain movies that we normally wouldn't have said, hey, let's go watch this yeah. movie. Right. It yeah. just happened yeah. to be on. Somebody else said it was good. So there we are watching it. So mm -hmm. so we have seen, you know, certain directors and certain actors that a lot of other people haven't because, you know, we were there and we were just absorbing whatever we could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this generation, in the streaming world, they kind of choose their own. Uh, sure. they, they choose their own film, right? So, right, right, yeah. yeah. It's a good analogy for a lot of things. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. Kind of sticking in your bubble, I guess. Yeah. So okay, so uh, okay, so so then basically, you guys went to high school together. You made these films. Then what happened afterwards? Would you guys go to university? What was the next step? We we went our separate ways. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for for i don't know uh, many you know 15 18 years whatever it was before uh ramon and i uh started picking up the the, the thread and saying we'd like to do some writing and uh this was about uh what about 20 25 years ago yeah yeah yeah, and, we, yeah. we we had some we said hey let's just do it uh i think it was maybe it was project Greenlight that kind of uh started us on, on that and so we really wanted to enter Project Greenlight, so we started collaborating. And at the time, I think I was in California, yeah, and Ed was in New York. So we were doing this long distance uh, co-writing um, and aiming, and we had a deadline because we wanted to enter Project Greenlight. And, and how so, did you guys reconnect? How were how did you guys get to get together again? Oh, I think I mean more or less we stay in touch. My my parents still, you know, my dad still lives maybe three or four blocks away from mm -hmm. Ed. Uh, so anytime I would visit um, my parents, I would definitely give Ed a call, give some, give some of our other friends a call. You know, we'll meet at a bar, meet at Ed's house. Uh, and so we'd always stay in touch and see each other once, once in a while. Mm -hmm. But with the writing, uh, we started communicating more by email, uh, phone, uh, and started exchanging our, our pieces together. Gotcha. So techn new technology helped you out a little bit, I guess. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so, you, so Ed, you stayed in you stayed in New York, you stayed in Queens, and then Ramon, you kind of like ventured off into the to the United States. Yes, yes, uh, and even farther. Okay. Right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, right right now I'm actually on uh, just on on vacation. I'm I'm heading out soon. I got to go back to my my day job, which is overseas. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. And then you guys, you guys stay in touch. So tell us, so how many screenplays have you written, the the two of you? <laughs> um, tough to say. So so just to tack on to Ed's story. So so we had that run after Project Greenlight, and okay. we came up with with a bunch of pieces. But then you know, I think you know, my kids were growing up. Uh, you know, life life kind of happened, yeah. and we we stopped. And it wasn't until just a few months ago, I was looking through through some of my old files, and I said, "Hey, look at this! These are our old screenplays." And so I, I gave, I, I shot at an, uh, a little social media message, I think on on Messenger, and I said, "Hey, do you remember this?" And so um, Mina plays the game, for example. That was a screenplay, uh, a thirty-page screenplay that Edward wrote. Uh, one day out of the blue, he said, Hey, I've been working on something. I sat down and wrote and he sent it to me. And it was about the characters are slightly different, but, uh, Mina plays the game, maintains the, uh, the spirit of that whole, of the original. And it was just this very tense, uh, poker game, uh, where somebody was basically betting it all, uh, with some interesting characters. And, Really, the dialogue was so perfect. That's what made it. And that's, you know, that's, I would say that's one of Ed's fortes. Uh, and really, it was through that dialogue that slowly we started developing it into Mina Plays the Game. Gotcha. 
I've been I've, I've been watching um, some Twilight Zone, old classic Twilight Zones. This reminds me of this a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> That's a great compliment. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Tone wise, yeah. like it's like there's yeah. a little twist going on in the film. Like it's yeah. it looks like a basic kind of game, and then it's something deeper, I guess, right? Right. Fan fanatical, something fantasy, I guess, driven. Exactly. If, that, if that was a uh, that was a show we uh, we definitely grew up on. You know, here on uh, WPIX eleven uh, uh, every every night uh, before you went to bed, Twilight an mm -hmm. episode of Twilight Zone was on. And uh, you know you can't say enough about that show. Just the uh, the wealth of writers that 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 work for that show over the years. Yeah, and uh, and and then of course Rod Serling, just a, a great you know a, a great training ground. Just watching <laughs> watching television, just in great storytelling. You yeah. know, just every every episode just resets at the beginning, right? And it's just another yeah, new it's another new story. cast, new everything, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. no there's yeah. no there's no restrictions. There's no no expectations you go into each episode it's completely brand new you don't know where it's going to go no character is safe it's really a you know anthology television like that is really just yeah. uh just a lost art really wonderful which shocks yeah. me because i've watched maybe like six or seven episodes in the, like literally in the last 24 hours uh -huh. um, which shocks me is that how much they hold up like they're just really they they yeah. they're, they just hold up like they're they're yeah. just they're timeless in so many ways yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even better than the remakes of the Twilight Zone. Well, I I get it now because watching it, I'm like, oh my god, they should just re, they should have do like new versions of it. I get why they want to remake it because yeah. it's yeah. so rich. Yeah. But there's something that there's they, there's loss in translation when they tried to. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd say wow. if 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 there was a through line in all our screenplays and Ed's and I uh, my screenplays, uh, it's kind of that Twilight Zone feel. Uh, most of them have that one way or another oh cool so have you guys produced any besides the teenagers have you guys made any of these scripts into films no N not no. yet no Do you no. want to i'm assuming you want to yes yes wow. we definitely do um it's a matter of um of the time and finding the right piece uh and then doing it and uh you know one thing again an observation ed had was uh, with this screenplay, with the the story, Mina plays the game. You know, part of it's what what it, what it's about is about somebody willing to gamble everything uh, for something. Yeah. And and in a way, Ed and I, we've kind of in the past, we've kind of held back a little bit. You know, we maintained our day jobs. We didn't go all in and say, let's just do this and yeah. throw everything else out the window. So you know, maybe maybe it's time for that. So there's like a little bit of uh, your writing kind of some of your own fantasy in a sense you're writing that's something that's an interesting psychological nugget you just kind of came up with right there right yeah mm -hmm. yeah definitely because you kind of have to go all the way in this industry exactly yeah and it's, yeah. it's uh you gotta it's a it's about the right time when when you make a move and you yeah. know when you push all your chips in and and give it a shot that said we live in different times right like you guys like we're talking right now and you guys submitted to a festival like and basically we're talk like talking because it won. And so it kind of sets you guys up to for success, meaning that you know you got a good script. I'm assuming it's one in other places. And then and then so basically that sort of helps you kind of gives you that confidence, I guess, to turn into a script, to turn into a film. Right. Right. I mean, we've uh we've we've taken um some of our old movies and we made a mini documentary of them once. So we, we have produced a few things. Uh, I think I, I also, in another career, I actually did put together some uh, kind of a, a small reality show of, uh, of a team I used to coach. Uh, okay. So, you know, we've, we've done a few things. And also, um, Ed's been managing a, a side project. Uh, well, a side project for me, but kind of a big project for him where he manages a website, uh, which the, the vision was to kind of, uh, spark some life into our old neighborhood. Uh, so he's uh, he's been doing that as well. So so we've got creative uh, creative things all, uh, going on at the same time. So what what motivated you to uh, what motivated you to submit the festivals and get it out there? Well, it it's been a long long time dream to uh, to actually create something and that might end up being a movie, whether we make it or somebody else makes it. 
Uh, that's why we were making movies when we were very, very young. That's why we were writing later on. And it's, it's just something that's never died. It's, it's definitely still in me. And, uh, you know, it's we got piece some of, it's a piece of unfinished business. Yeah. You know, it, it, it it's something that's been part of our life. And, 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 and like Ramon was saying, we, we, we didn't, uh, at the age at the age we 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 started writing together you know we were already we were already in the middle of our careers we already had things going on um but it's always it's always been there anytime we talk we we you know we we 